are going to begin with my personal favorite wallet for security and uh, not getting hacked. You know, that's kind of important. Uh, but this is the Ledger Wallet or the Ledger Nano S. So we're going to do something really cool tonight that I haven't done in a while or ever on this channel. I've done it on the other channel. But we're going to pop up a webcam. And I'll apologize that this webcam is uh, older than dirt. I will uh, be investing in a new one here very shortly. So this here is the Ledger Nano S. It's very, very simple. Um, yeah, I'll apologize. That is a little bit grainy. That's kind of gross. Let me see if I can adjust that. So all this Ledger Nano S is is a very simple hardware wallet. You have a USB 2.0. You have your USB. You plug it in. Voila. And now you put in your PIN code. Now I'm, of course, not going to show you my PIN code because that would be kind of stupid. That would uh, defeat the purpose of the security. Wow, this is quite challenging to talk and type in a PIN code at the same time. Who would have known? And this is an eight digit PIN code. Come on. Takes a while. So basically there's two buttons. There you just heard it connect. There are two buttons on the Ledger Nano wallet. Left, right, and you press both to select. So we can go left and we can go right. And if we want to select, like let's say Bitcoin, ta-da, use wallet to view accounts. So this is where it gets really cool. We're going to turn off the webcam for a moment. In the Google Chrome platform, you can see you've got Wedger, Wedger, Ledger Wallet, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Manager. So let's actually start by opening up the Manager. We're going to connect the Ledger Wallet. Loading, loading, loading. All right. So this application only works when you are logged in to your Ledger Wallet. Very, very simple. You have to put in that eight digit PIN code. And here we go. So here are some of the coins that are supported. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Dogecoin, which is hilarious, Ethereum, Fido, Komodo, Litecoin. We're just going to go all the way down this list. You can see any that you may have uh, current holdings in. And this is Ledger Nano S, very simple, my Ledger wallet. You've got applications and firmware. So if something needs to be updated, it will tell you. Um, one thing that's nice about the Ledger Wallet is it is constantly getting new coins, new altcoins that you can store in this wallet. So let's now close this and grab our Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. So when you open a Ledger Wallet Bitcoin, you get this fantastic little load. To begin, connect your Ledger Wallet. Well, here's how this works. We can actually move this over here. This is pretty cool. All right. So we have our Ledger Wallet. We have Bitcoin. We can select, we try to get the least possible grainy. That is really annoying. Yeah, it helps a little bit. And then you double click, press both buttons to select. And now you can see, ta-da, which wallet would you like to use, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash? I would like to use Bitcoin. Uh, we're going to go with SegWit. So now very, very simple. You have, we're gonna close our webcam because nothing is going to appear on the ledger screen now. We have you, your holdings, and it will actually convert it to US dollars. So you can see about what you're holding. Last operations, if you've brought in uh, funds or have sent funds, uh, pretty, pretty simple there. And no operations at this time. You can see all your operations, nothing there. Um, and you can add an account. So I don't need an account because I've already got one. You can go in and send, type in that Bitcoin address, Go OK to account to debit, obviously this one, because I've only got one wallet on here right now. And then you can uh, decide if you would like your confirmation to be super fast, or if you don't care when it gets there because you don't want to pay a lot of money to transfer. I normally just go with high because I don't really care. Um, I prefer to get uh, wonderful confirmations before that happens. And then there's a little photo button, um, but we don't need to do that right now. No, web, no webcam detected. What are you talking about? If you want to receive funds, if, if you'd like to give me some funds, there, there's the address. Um, <laughs> but the one thing that is very important to note on these spe uh, special wallets, I guess you could call them hardware wallets, paper wallets, whatever. If you deposit funds 
that are not of the specified type. So if I go in and deposit Ethereum to this address, it will not deposit. Those funds are lost forever. You can only deposit Bitcoin. If you go into the Ethereum wallet, you can only deposit Ethereum. Very, very simple. So you can go in here, you always highlight, right click, copy. So if I'm receiving, I will take this address and paste it directly into, for example, Bittrex. I will never hand type that. The moment you make a single error, whether it be uppercase, lowercase, whatever, you're going to uh, lose those funds. So you don't want to do that. Very, very simple though. That's how you do it. And then same thing for send. You can put that in there. You've got these fancy little settings. You can go in blockchains, hardware, display. Um, all of these settings can also be found on the Ledger Nano S on that wonderful little LCD screen. So now let's go in and open up our Ethereum wallet. I have got a very small holding in here just to uh, show you how it works. So let's open up our webcam. Come on, load. Not gonna, not gonna load. There we go. All right. So let's quit the app. We'll bring it nice and close. Go into Ethereum. Double click. Loading. All right. So very, very simple. I think it's what, maybe 100, 200 bucks, whatever. All this is going to show you, the Ethereum wallet is very, very simple. All this is showing you is, okay, I brought in some funds, I brought in some more funds. Um, one thing I highly suggest when using a new wallet is do a practice transfer. So like the minimum, in this case, um, 0 0.2, 0 0.18, whatever, Ethereum. Um, just do a minimum transfer. Make sure it goes in, make sure you typed it correctly, and then you can bring in the rest. So right here, a 0.2. And then I brought in some more and just did that as a very simple way because I didn't want to show you a blank account because then uh, you don't learn anything. So that's how it works. If I want to send them out, I can go in here and go, okay, I want to uh, put in, right click, paste, right? Absolutely paste in that account and it has to be Ethereum. You can't paste it into a Bitcoin account. So clearly I can't use this. So we're going to delete it gas limit this is how much you are willing to pay right that high medium and low how quickly you want those funds to get there that's your gas limit same thing here gas price how much it's going to cost basically negligible maybe a few cents or two and then your total spent so if i want to send 0.2 it will cost no that's two ethereum 0 0.2 there we go it will cost 2.42 so just a little bit in gas there but that's basically how that works one thing I really like about this is I try to keep this video short, but it never works. Um, doesn't matter where you sign in to Chrome. If you're on a school computer, a work computer, whatever, and you're logged in on Google Chrome, these will download. So you can move funds when you're at work or when you're on somebody else's computer. You just have to have that actual piece of hardware, the little USB, and you have to have the cord. That's it. Very, very simple, nice and secure. But that is one example of a wallet. In this case, it's a hardware wallet, hence being hardware, that USB. So the keys are stored on the Ledger Nano S. The password's everything you need to send and receive funds. And it's outside of an, outside of an exchange, so you won't get hacked. So pretty simple there.